You're listening to the Saturday Night Gaming Podcast, Project Paradox. Hope you enjoy. All right, so um, now you hear the two voices talking to each other inside. Are, so they're like not with us. He okay. teleported. It'd to be like side. a good jump across empty space to them, and then in the. Can I just get him over here? Roll for it. <laughs> with like your geokinesis. Yeah. Yeah, she's. Oh, yes. Do it. Uh-oh. Oh. That sounds good. I mean, the benchmark can't be very high for this fucking piece of rock over. Um, Asteroid-sized rock? Yeah, sure. Probably fine. This would be fine. I mean, it's a 19. I don't know if I should re-roll. Should I re-roll for it with a 19? It's really close to 20. It's close to 20, yeah. Most of a success with only a little bit of a drawback. Assuming the benchmark is 20. Assuming the benchmark is 20. Which he's already made two comments to (laughs) why snarkily. (laughs) Roll for evasion. (laughs) I'm going to lower the thingy, however many I can lower it by. Uh, I think you need two favors to do that. I don't think so. Because the one is to re roll. You can re-roll. You can't lower it. Oh. 27. 27 much to suck it over here. All right. So Get over you actually like, feel not, the ground beneath your feet wanna, start you know, to rumble a little like bit? Not jarringly. Like just it's kind of jarring. No. It rumbles I, a little. I rolled a 27. For me? Yeah. You're like standing there and then it's like, and John's like, whoa. And he starts running around in circles with his his hands in the air as the whole installation kind of just pulls towards this asteroid that they're floating on. But it like barely it. bumps it. And then at the very end you hear this. Perfect. Perfect. That's it. <laughs> so he's much closer to you now. Hey. Hello. He She waves inside the hole. Hey, 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 how are you doing? Hi. Uh, do you have a med pack? Hold on. Fulgrim, my old friend. <laughs> hold yes. On. Just hold old that look, bleeding Old from looking head. friend. Old looking. <laughs> I can't help you with that. I'm sorry, buddy. You look good. How are things? How are, where, where are we? <laughs> we are in the void. As, you know, it happens. Been here before. We get in the void. We get out of the void. We fight giants. We make the chest yeah. cave in. So smidge. What happened here, and anyway? Roll well. Stein. Ah, oh, were you at this battle? Was I at this battle? I feel like I might have been at this it's battle. Just... I know. Stein. That was so long ago. Was there a dragon? You know what? Honestly, I think there might have been a dragon. There was dragon in space <laughs> and the lady mm, I don't know if the, my dragon was in space the big flaming sword and this other kid that was all like I'm the dark star now and then, and then there was this other lady and she slapped some people oh gosh, I like her happened? I don't know I'm, I'm really feeling it though <laughs> what are we doing we are all talking to each other Right. We're waggling our eyebrows. I feel like we're trying to help this guy's brother. Oh, how'd that go? Uh, we've almost figured out how to get Tom Thumb into the mana capacitor. That's going to be fun. Wow. Uh, I have to go with him. Who decided this was what we were doing? We're putting Tom Thumb inside of what? Inside of the mana capacitor so that Sam can shoot the magic from Tom Thumb through, Z- through Zazzle. Now, why you are we doing that? To get rid of the virus. 
That uh, sounds very smart and um, it's very above well my out. comprehension. Hello. Is Hello? this Tom Pinky? Who is it? Can anyone hear me out there? Does anyone have a radio that this thing would be talking Hello? about? Hello? I have a radio. Hey. What she you talks doing? into a radio. I think I have a radio. Uh, it says I have gadgets. You did have a <laughs> communicator. I have a gadget. What's up? Who's this? The intercom on the wall continues to light up. Oh, it's the wall. Um, I need assistance. Don't we all? Well, if... I don't know, do you? Yeah, everybody does. If what do I, you need? Who are you? I guess if you could help me, I could help you. Who are you? Oh, uh, uh, Graf. Just call me Graf. My name's Hadrian Graf. I'm a professor. I have college education. If that makes me of use to your group, maybe uh, you could save me. <laughs> what? right now. What's college? Where are you? I am in the uh, dark part of this installation. I... That is not the story. I found the Nexus Bridge and I was doing some adjustments on it when all sorts of explosions <laughs> happened and then there was people screaming and then it all stopped. It got real quiet. Oh, explosions usually do that. But then I heard noises but again and there was a man yelling at some poor person. I don't know. He kept telling her, shut up and not talk to him. He, he didn't need her gruff. Bates, Where can you hear this thing talking to are too? you? Uh, yeah, he's talking. At least he's talking since. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't the only one. <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck! I'm at, I'm at the Nexus Bridge! Do we know where that is? I don't... We don't know where you are. Bates, find the map! I don't know what Do to tell you. I'm stuck. Who's the map? I know. Oh. Uh, probably not. You got there. I I will look around for one of those you are here signs. Yeah, that's a good (laughs) way. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, 29? No, 28. Uh, and you are Zix? Zix. So basically you just walk straight over to the panel that's underneath the intercom. Type on it for a second. Pulls up graph of the installation. Of the installation as it used to be before it was fragmented. And you say, okay, looks like it's just past the Pretzel Palace. What? There was a Pretzel Palace. Is this a theme park? What? Where are we? <laughs> oh my God. Okay, it's, do we know how to get to It's kind of like guy? an airport, as far as I can tell from this. Okay. <laughs> do we find the Nexus thingy? Uh, is it on the map? I was in the middle of describing where we are. Hmm? Yeah. So, I think past we, the Pretzel Palace, think, one level down. I think we can come find you. Maybe. That would be pleasurable. There's been scratching outside the door for so long now, it's starting to drive That's me mad. really disturbing. You're showing me I'm the one alone in the dark with scratching outside the door. Oh, please come get me. Um, Bulgrim, do you know that yes. you have a little bleeding man here? That's not at what? all how I picture the graph. It's not even like. Who knows? Hold on. I'll pull Tiny. a I'll pull a, a moist towelette out the, of my the armored fanny pack. Why, are, why is this moist? Over. It's the, a towel. The blood I'm not going to give him a dry towel. But just what moisturizes? Blood. <laughs> I wipe. The blood while I'm looking at the map that hopefully still matters because it looks like the Nexus got fragmented so we have to figure out where that spot is floating here mm-hmm. maybe that's where I was maybe uh, Seems like the majority of what is in, it's like you can see storefronts that used to have like neon signs and everything, okay. uh, rubble, debris, body parts, blood. I can roll um, perception. I'm somewhat familiar with the void. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So 13 plus nine, 22, plus 23. We go. All right. Um, 
So you like run over to the edge of some rubble and you stand at the edge of it with like one knee perched in the air like a captain's pose. You put your hand out. <laughs> and you actually see there's part of the installation that's got, uh, there's like a huge divide in the ground where some, you know, obviously it was like cracked and separated and everything. It's a bit of a jump, but just past it you see Pritz, Prince Palace. What? Prince Pal. It's like, some words that might have said Pretzel Palace at some point in time. <laughs> so it's just Pretz Pal. Pretz Pal. Yeah. But you do know from him talking that just past there was supposed to be the entryway to the uh, Nexus Bridge. I'm going to roll for I'll just point armor. with my sword that way. Do I have to roll my armor? Come on, guys, uh, follow me. Activate it. I'm going to activate my armor. All right. I. I'm going to... Hold on. Okay. See, you know, ear to the ground would have been really helpful right now. Uh, that side of... That part of the rock is not connected to us. Bulgrim right picks up. Which part? I can Maziel. move it again. The part that we're jumping. Before he... Why are we his jumping? Hand can I move this rock again? Pulls them off the edge of the cliff. All these pieces of rocks are just... You made your move to, to armor up. Well, I didn't have to do anything, right? No, but it's it's your move. Okay, I guess we're jumping. I mean, they could. You could wait and just pull the rock for yourself, or they like, could I just sit like there and do other things. It's up to them. Makes sense for me to pull the rock. My armor doesn't have to be activated. Oh, saying because I always use. Um, on the shorties. I'm, I'm currently looking at the map, but Zix has gotten it down to one turn and is opening the mana capacitor to let Tom get into and busy explaining to him what he needs to do to channel his power with the extra juice from Sam into him. Okay, so you're finishing up to put Tom inside the mana capacitor and shock it with Sam. Whilst Zazzle's holding it, I'm Z Zix is going to come over and hold it and just point it at Zazzle. Yeah, because I have a feeling Zazzle would drop it once he starts getting shot. Fair enough. All right. Unless it would be better for Sam to hold it so that he can channel the power straight into it. All right. Sam will hold it and channel the power and shoot. Good luck reading that. I am S Tony. I will be portraying Sam Danson. Uh, once had a friend uh, who was named Ted Malone, uh, but he's not here right now, so it's not important. I'm just bringing it up because <laughs> it seems to be done often. Uh, I will electrocute things. Here we go! You should probably uh, have a sliver of mana first. Should I? Should I? I probably might. <laughs> he probably would. Does it count as assistance? Because... Because you want him to do it? We figured it out. Yeah. And yeah, you can... told him exactly what he had to do. Alright, electric bolt. Through a mana capacitor, holding a god. Shooting a midget. Yeah. Little person. No. Sorry. Specifically shooting no. a virus inside of a Mighty Morphing Midget. No. Right. All right. So I'm assuming it's not this pentagram here. <laughs> what are you looking for? I'm sorry. And are, you... <laughs> are you looking for his electricity? It would be this The one. lightning yeah, bolt. Here. Yeah. And okay. I Sometimes he runs it off this, depending on what you're trying to do. Yeah, he's not doing that, though. Wait, you're not rolling off body explosion, are you? Alright, take it. We are. How many? He looks like he has two favors. He probably would re-roll that. That's what he did last Yeah, time. take this, Tony. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. We'll see what happens. <laughs> it's the last go. Boom! 
That's, <laughs> that's better. It's better, <laughs> right? It's one better. So it's up to a two? Yeah. <laughs> okay, never mind. I don't get to play Zazzle. <laughs> All right. So Sam takes the mana capacitor from you. Uh-huh. It's got Tom inside of it. Yeah. I don't think Tom is going to go He poises his asshole and he goes, Run, here goes everything! Don't worry, I'm a god in some places. <laughs> and you see this flash of light. Uh-huh. And then as your eyes begin to adjust, you see Zazzle laying there, still uh-huh. infected. You see a scorch mark on the ground where once was Sam. Oh! No mana capacitor, no Sam, no Tom. Uh oh. <laughs> I wonder what happened. But we'll find out at some point in the future. Why did that man just electrocute that tiny little. He was probably on man? drugs. I mean, mana. He does that a lot. That's essence of life. Yes. Am I able to uh, just walk towards where we need to be or I, yeah you can just make a good uh, roll dex just to leap across or strength to leap across physique what I run over to right. Zazzle and try to inspect the so I roll uh, 28 to do the thing you roll <laughs> 28 mm-hmm. alright so yeah you, you would easily just trot over and then leap, twirl through the air and land on the other side. And maybe like wave. Come! <laughs> I don't know if you tell them to come. Or not. I'll just spin the blade around. <laughs> <laughs> Inviting you to the action. Now on the ground. <laughs> bones. You weren't really asleep, you were just kind of like lost in this dream where you saw a man drowning. And it was almost like you were inside that man's eyes. You were drowning yourself. And then there was this compass floating right in front of you. And you reached out and you grabbed it. But then all of a sudden you were overwhelmed with anger and rage. And then there was this guy with a big sword. And he told you to stop. You knew you couldn't. But he stabbed you with that big sword, that really big, incredibly giant sword anyway. That's the last you remembered until another man tried to take control. He was bald and angry and he saw all of these people destroying his land. He knew that he was in charge of the military for the Elorian city. And he was trying to orchestrate things in just a way to keep all the people safe. And he, too, took hold of this power, this dark shard. And then there was a winged fellow with a lot of cocky confidence. And another guy riding on top of a giant Ruda monkey. And another guy shooting lightning out of stuff. And another guy who was a robot. And Anyway, you got your butt kicked. Clock cleaned. But then you found yourself with a fella with a very big sword and a good chip on his shoulder and he destroyed a realm left it in the waste until there was this bald scientist he cut his hand off and then you remember that hand being put onto you and here you are and you wake okay fair enough <laughs> <laughs> But you, of course, notice that you're not in the same place you were, and there's this big blonde guy with a sword that looks really familiar to you that's spinning around. Uh, who are you? I'm, like, flying away from you. I don't think we can have a conversation. <laughs> it's probably about a good 30 feet away from you now. 30 feet away from you now? Oh, yeah. I mean, he might be able to hear you, like, Whoo. I mean, I'm in the, in the air, just, like, pirouetting. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. Oh, like those. Uh... Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Spinners. The, the little uh, 
They were called, weren't they called spinners? Uh, like you pulled the rip cord and it would shoot in the air like a helicopter? It, it was, there was like, anyway, we all remember what Yeah, Tinkerbell about. was one of them, I think. That's what he looks like. <laughs> they had the wing <laughs> arms that went out and they'd fly like helicopters, yeah. I, said my, I yeah, just have no. a giant sword. <laughs> No, um, yeah, he just kind of stands up and realizes that I'm not where I was, and now there's a big blonde guy here. Awesome. Who sword. kind of feels like he killed you before. Uh-oh. <gasps> what? You're missed to him, please. I'm going I'm I'm to pull, <laughs> <laughs> no, pull a beverage out of my bag and uh, crack this open. <laughs> And then Solbrum, um just laying that deep seated seed of uh, of anger and mistrust there. Puts his hand on Bone's shoulder. By the way, you're welcome. I stopped you from pulling yourself off the edge a couple of times. It was really weird watching you go. <laughs> Meanwhile, over on the other side, Sam. No! Tom, where'd you go? Zazzle, are you alive? <laughs> <laughs> does So does Bones just like lose consciousness and just crawl around unconscious? Like yeah, a, yeah, This is the first like, time it's ever happened to him. Uh, mm-hmm. It's like a Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so you handed me the chip for what? Uh, basically, you have a lot of anger towards this fellow and mistrust. Mm-hmm. Also, he's flying away from us and has a big sword. Six is <laughs> screaming about his brother being dead, possibly. Sam being evaporated, and yeah, Tom's gone. And you just woke back up to hear all of that while and he's see flying this. away from us. <laughs> flying through the air. <laughs> Really, it's just a painted picture, and I can't even make it even look worse. I, don't <laughs> I just realized yeah, that myself. it looks really bad because this guy has killed him before, and there he is laying down on the ground, and him screaming about them. He's going to jump to gun. God. It could only be he, worse if I had like the sword in one hand, just giving him the bird with us, <laughs> <laughs> and <Okay>. then. <laughs> Oh, Lord, he would do this. Oh, this is in character. Mm. He's taking a shot. Chaos shot. All right. Oh, boy. I just realized that, by the way. Oh. That's a chaos shot. It's not the radiation again, is it? Die. You're probably not die. I mean, you're strong. You're strong. You're not going to die. Probably. It's acid. Oh. It's way better than radiation. You'll be fine. It's not radiation, so you're good. How'd you roll? Um, it's a 33. It's a nat 20. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. All right. Is this unholy? I get plus two damage. <laughs> not really unholy, I don't think. Um, well, so it's coming from a helm. What is your damage? Uh, damage would be 10 altogether. All right. So it hits you. Wait, with... hold on. Uh-oh. Oh Jesus Christ! I forgot about that. Still have three shots with the mana brick. The mana brick is still oh, active. That's right. I gave him the mana brick to kill Malik. Good lord. Um. So it's times two damage. Right. So All right. right. Magni, so I will might, give you <laughs> this right, opportunity to see that this fellow has shot something at you, <laughs> roll, and I will let you roll. Miss. Oh man! And you can roll your decks, probably into this, or I don't know, whatever makes it better. You can use this if you want to. <laughs> um, uh, benchmark at thirty-three is basically what you're trying to compete with. Well, that was crazy. Uh, it and is the tip. No, there's How a, is that even possible? There's it's a the point tip. up. 
I yes. know. <laughs> um, That's crazy. <laughs> can he use a favor to lower that benchmark? He's already rolled. It just he, rolled funky. He technically hasn't rolled because it didn't actually land. Um, well, I think if you roll and it's tip up, then you should automatically win that? every <laughs> interaction. Actually, you just won all of Heaven's Gate. Yeah. All right. See y'all. <laughs> see y'all next time. <laughs> see y'all next year. Um, that was not my roll. I. That would, it would probably work. There's no premise to say you can or can't. But I guess if you're willing to give me a favor, I will let you lower it by five. Does that, that seem fair? Standard. Do we have any? That's standard. Okay. So what? What was? What is that? If you give to? me this, it'll take it down to twenty-eight. 28? Mm -hmm. But then I won't have it when I roll bad. Correct. Yeah. You know, yeah. Let's slow. We'll take it down. Here we go. And before you roll, 20. 34. All right. So that's going in with your deck. So that's a 23. Do you have anything over here? Like a I have... Um, evade? I mean, yeah, I have evade. And how much is that Expert. up to? Expert, which is which plus is three. three. So 26. So you're only missing by two. No. So my, I mean, my deck. So 20. I'm at 33. Oh, you're 36. at 33. 36. Oh, that's a 13. So you actually, yeah. You actually would have made it if you had not even lowered it. Uh, actually, he would have been just under if he hadn't lowered it. Well, he had a 33. 33. So he, he would have been 36. over it. I would have beat it either way. Yeah, he would have beat it. Mm -hmm. It would have been 31. I don't know. So we're doing it would have been just under. I think he does He does well. So basically, as he's pirouetting through the air, he takes the broad side of Biggs and slaps the shot <laughs> towards this wall. <laughs> oh, that wall is <laughs> decimated. And like, it just it's, it explodes into this acid splatter that starts dissolving the wall away. And as the wall begins to dissolve, you hear this weird chittering and chattering on the other side. <laughs> and as you see these bodies beginning to pull themselves over the acid, it's starting to burn them, but they don't seem to care as their eyes continually become black. And out from their eyes is this tendril of infection that's uh, moving across their flesh and they just crawl over this acid covered wall towards the now by himself on the other side of the ravine <laughs> Magni who impressively enough didn't get killed by an acid bullet well I feel like if they're moving that slow and I'm just like flying across this ravine I think I'm cool <laughs> All right. I think I'm good <laughs> meanwhile Brigitte was getting ready to <laughs> yeah do you want to move the... Uh, do I? I don't know. <laughs> that is on you. It doesn't seem like something I would want to do now. Maybe push it further away? <laughs> I don't know. Pelt it with... I mean, rocks? the place that we need to go is there. Where he's going. Seems like if I pelt it with rocks, that could potentially be bad. And am I close to them? I don't trust him. Who? Me? Him. Oh, Magni. The guy he just shot. Is that his name? Yeah, it's not Rubber Ducky. It's Magni. And then from the distance, you just hear. Good Robert luck Ducky, with. What are you talking that about? You jerks. <laughs> <laughs> Other people call him R D. Wiggle waggle wiggle. Nobody calls him that. I do. I am other people. Wait, am I not? Meanwhile, why do you not trust him, <laughs> little little guy? You said you don't trust him. Oh, you're talking to yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, did anybody see where Sam went? He told the ambassador. Uh, you see John the Red, he pulls open his coat and he starts putting his hand in different pockets. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do what? I don't know. Don't actually. Just, do. just stand there. 
I'm looking for Sam. I'll just stand here. You're scary. Why don't you trust him? He looks at his hand. I think he's killed whoever wielded this gauntlet before. Maybe whoever wielded that was bad and need to be killed. I like take a step away as I say that. <laughs> he just, his hand just starts wiggling. <laughs> <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> Maybe whoever killed that hand before was bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how this thing works. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe right, whoever was wearing it before was bad. Yes, I'm on the. I thought I was. He's on the side where the away. acid bullet just hit, and out of the pretz pala, uh, the pretzel uh, palace okay. is these crawling things. I thought I just okay, released our, them and then but flew we're by. To get, <laughs> right, <laughs> but we're trying to get past that to get to the graph dude. That's right, true. just the other side of pretz pretz pal. Oh, what are... I wanted to talk to you all again. I am what sorry I about my outburst earlier. I am not. Usually, it's just that after months of solitude, Graf, Graf, uh, yes, Graf. yes, we're, we're busy. We'll be there in a minute. Well, that's rude. Okay. <laughs> so there's all these things. <laughs> sorry, I called you rude, dude. <laughs> <laughs> there's all these things, right? Yeah. And the acid bullet. Let them out. Who let the dogs out? The acid bullet. The dogs of war? The acid bullet. Which? which How yes. many are there? The dogs of war. I don't know. You could roll some form of perception. <gasps> you just see them crawling out of a hole in the wall. Well, but they, they don't seem to care that they have acid on them. They just keep trucking and snarling and. Okay, so I'm trying to picture how this looks in my head. Like, we're on this thing. There's this other sort of like a landmass floating over here with all these things crawling around on it, right? Then there's another landmass that we gotta jump. You're to. on this thing, and there's this thing. Right, where's Graf? He's over here. Where's Graf? With all of the demon things. And Graf is just past where he is with all of the demon things. Like where his phone is. Yeah. Okay, where so his we're phone all is. on three different landmasses. No. No, it's more like under it's next stairwells. Level. Or elevators. Who knows? Probably not. Possibly escalators. Though they may not be working. Are they floating? Like you're doing right now? No. Everything's floating. You're just in an installation, but this is like, it's a separation in the ground. Yeah. Like an earthquake happened and separated the but ground. there's not earths still holding them together. No. So they're floating. In the void. You Think see? about like the Titanic. If you're on one side of the Titanic and he's on the other side of the Titanic, the Titanic is breaking in half. <sighs> Down here it might be touching. Up here it's kind of like me, me, me. And you're a little over 25, so Magni, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, is not interested. I'm going to play the violin. I'm only 25 as we go and to, a half. No. It's too old. Sorry. Damn. Um, there, are, there aren't a lot of women to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, who, who needs women when you got your phone? All right. Um, I can put I all guess. this back down. Do we have we have a good vision. Yeah, visual. Right. So you just see me back to you walking into a, a horde of zombies. Are looking you seem concerned about extremely. No, I look extremely heroic. Okay. Like I'm about to go. He's not at all concerned. Rippling back muscles. Yeah, you're just thinking like. Okay, I feel like he's kind of got the situation. Fur skirt. Oh. That is Heavenscape's Heine. Where <laughs> is? <laughs> I'll second that. <laughs> I don't want to waste my role to perceive how many of them there are. Um, that seems dumb. They're about to right. be zero. Uh, <laughs> he seems very confident. There's about to be none. That of there's them. about to He's be. He's dragging zero. the sword on the ground. <laughs> I hate when you drag me. It looks cool though. What, okay, you before love it. I make my decision, what are you doing? Oh, uh, Zix. Like, are you helping has, your brother still? Was looking for Sam, who took my brother's mana capacitor and appears to have. Probably teleported to the other side to the action since he stopped helping. Okay. Or sorry, 
he probably sped towards the other side at lightning speed. Well, Wait, to be fair, is there action over there? Did you feel like that was a good idea? Because I never felt like that was going to be a good what? idea. What? Sh- shooting all the, the whole plan, all shoot- the plans that you made with the mana capacitor and Sam. I felt like it was a very wise plan that my brother thought was very intelligent based on past experience. Okay. However, he didn't actually shoot my brother and has now disappeared with the mana capacitor. And God. And Tom. So, so still here. I'm assuming that they went to the other side since people were talking about we need to get to the other side. Right. Is there action on the other side? So your brother's here too? Uh, it appears that there is action on the other side. Yes, my brother <laughs> is here. Right. Should I toss both of them over? Out of a little portal right next to you, action. jumps as John Red. Do the action! <laughs> <laughs> as what you're getting ready to. What are you doing here? John the Red teleported over his side. <laughs> Screaming to the action. We're on the cool side. So So should I toss you you guys over? Um my brother is conscious. He is conscious. Okay. He just has an He doesn't have to be. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying I can talk. So he can wear a mask if he's worried about like workplace communication or whatever. Uh we've got to get over to where Sam probably went. So I'm gonna probably say yes we should go that way does Thalgrim want you want Thalgrim to throw you again <gasps> big man you threw me before do you want to throw one of you can me? you can throw Zazzle he threw him really hard into a hole in the ground and he ended up coming here yeah yeah I can throw you again okay uh, get me over there please don't make me face plant the wall because I am hurting a lot. So I will just jump over there then. <laughs> he grabs him and he's going to leap over there. All right. Just give him a... Well, he can fly technically, so... I'm not going to make him roll to fly. That'd be like rolling to walk. Well, I could also probably propel myself over there too, but... Probably could. Just yeah. let them carry me since I'm seeing small. as Thalgrim's like basically uh, he, he can fly I don't yeah. know if I can really he, he football holds me <laughs> mm-hmm. all right then uh, Zazel is still over here or is he with the Thalgrim too uh, Zazel wanted Birgitta to throw him Zazel wants Birgitta to throw him I have no favorites left so we'll see how this goes yeah. um, I'm just gonna can I just throw him on my backpack and jump sure I don't have to roll a jump right he has a roll to jump. He yeah, promises to not to drink to your liquor while he's Yeah, just there. dexterity. I can't see that. Ten. That is a ten. He promises not to drink your liquor while amazing. he's in the backpack. Then yeah. <laughs> she Basically, she takes Z- Zazzle and like throws him up and over and like gives him a stern looking as she's doing so. <laughs> right, Birgitta? Yes, there better still be booze when we get over there. And she jumps way. across. You don't even, like, Zazzle inside the backpack notices that there's, like, all of these bottles of booze and everything. And as she jumps, she does it so well that, like, the bottles don't they even barely shoot. even rattle. And if they do, the sand comes out of one of the bottles and, like, braces them all. Nice. And she lands on the other side. And Zazzle's like, fascinating. So that's how she keeps them from falling apart. Leaving us with bones on this side. Oh. Looking at everyone who has just like jumped over there. We took all the strong people. <laughs> Tom Bones is gonna jump over there too. Cause I mean that's where everybody's going right now. We've gotta go find Sam. Yeah, if they all jump, I mean, why not? Mm-hmm. Mm. If he doesn't jump well. <laughs> How does he do? That's going to be a... Oh, that's not too bad. I keep forgetting uh, how high that is. <laughs> uh, it's going to be 17 all together. All right. So uh, you go for the jump, and as you're almost to the other side, you don't quite make it to that level that they're on. Can I... You fall short. And as you do, you realize that there are several other layers, like levels. And you basically miss that top level, and hit right on the ground on this level just below them. Mm. 
And if you want to find out what happens, you're going to have to tune in next time to find out if Bones has found the secret to his own destruction. Has the party found a demonic entity that they can't stop? I kind of feel like there's going to be a lot of roles to survive next time. So if you want to find out what happens, please join us right here next time. This is Tony reminding you to click like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, be good to you. Bye. I hope you liked this week's episode of Project Paradox. If you did, make sure to head on over to our website at www.saturdaynightgamingllc.com and check out all of our other content. Also, make sure to like, share, and subscribe on all of our social media platforms. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic week. Until next time, this is Laura Hibbert with Saturday Night Gaming.